What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Cindy Lou Who from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We start from the very top, bring that circle all the way down towards the bottom, and go all the way back up towards the top. Now you want to leave a small gap in between the eyes and draw that same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of that circle, bring that down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Let's pull the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So let's start on the top left. It's going to go all the way around, come down, and just bend that in. Let's line this up on the right. Going up, go all the way around, and then bend that in. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. I'm just going to bring this in and then back up. Let's line this up on the right side. And then we'll add another circle in the center of the iris going in behind the highlight. Let's start from the bottom, go all the way around, and then back out. Let's fill the center of the pupils. Now I'm going to add some lashes along the top of the eye. Let's start from the center. Start with one short line going up on both sides. And I'm going to work our way in. Just angling this up and in with two lines. And we'll add a couple more on the outside. Let's move to the center and draw a small nose. We start on the left, then the nose coming down and then up. Let's move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now you want to move down and draw in the mouth. Let's start on the left. Come down the middle. I'm just going to bend that up a little bit higher on the right side. And then we'll add a bracket on the end. Now from here we move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, let's step out. Curve the head coming down. Go underneath the mouth. And we'll bend that back up on the right side. Let's go back to the left side and draw the front edge of the hair. We we'll go up, across the eye, come across towards the right, and we'll bend that up. Let's draw on the right side. We're going to come down, just go across the side of the head and bend that out. Let's go back over towards the left side and add a fold, coming down and out. Now we're gonna add the eyebrow on the right side, going across and then down. Now before we get into the rest of the hair, let's move down and draw in the large scarf. We're gonna start on the left side underneath the head, bend the scarf, come down the middle, and then bend that back up on the right. Now you wanna draw on the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, just underneath the scarf, we're gonna add a bump, going around and then in. And we'll do that one more time, coming in towards the hip. Let's go all the way over towards the right side and curve in the opposite direction, adding those two bumps. Now let's connect the hips with the curve coming down the middle, and we'll bend that back up. Let's add two lines coming down the center of the zipper, Got one line on the left, and then one on the right. And then from these two points, we're going to add a fold, coming down and then in towards the side of the zipper. Now we're going to draw the inside of the arms. Let's start on the left side, bend this down, and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, bend this out, and then up. Now you can draw three bumps going up underneath the scarf. Start on the left. Draw that one bump, going around. Add another one. and one more going in underneath the scarf. From each of these points, we're just gonna curl this down and then in towards the side of the body. Now 
Let's go back down to the bottom of the arms and draw in the hands. We're gonna start with the thumb, start with a half circle coming in and then back out. Now from the bottom of the thumb, draw the mitt coming down, around the side, and then up underneath the wrist. Let's continue working down towards the feet. We're gonna start from the hips, we're gonna draw a curve going around and then up on the inside. Let's draw two more curves coming down and up in the middle. Now from the center, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the heels, and we'll draw the bottom of the feet. Let's start with the left side. Coming down and then up, back to the center, do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna go back to the left, draw the top of the foot, I'm gonna curve this up, and then bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. top of the foot, draw a straight line going up, curve this up and then down in the middle. And then from the outside corner of the boot, we'll step in, draw two straight lines going up underneath. Now I want to draw that scarf coming down in behind the body. Let's start underneath the arm, bend this down and then out, bend that down towards the end. Round up the end and come straight in behind the side of the foot. Let's add some stripes inside the scarf. We're going to leave a gap in the center, start on the left, bend this out and then in, go to the right, curve in the opposite direction. Now we're going to add some stripes across the bottom of the scarf, starting from the foot, curve this up and then out, step up and just repeat this all the way up towards the top. Now with the body in place, let's go back and finish off the hair. From this point, we're gonna curve up towards the top of the head, going up, round out the head, and then coming down towards the side. I'm just gonna come down, and then bend that out towards the tip. Let's add some layers across the bottom. Come down, and pull that up, and then step back, come down and up, create another fold, and then on the inside, we'll do that one more time, coming in behind the arm. Now we're gonna draw on the right side. We go up, come down along the side of the head, and I'll just curl that up towards the end. And just like we did on the left, we're gonna add some folds. I'm gonna come down, and pull that in. Let's go to the bottom, add another fold. And then we'll do that one more time. Let's add those braids going up towards the bow. We're gonna start on the left, bend this up and then out with a short line. Go over towards this point on the right, go up and out towards the same height. Let's flatten off the ends with a straight angle line coming down. And we'll follow that same curve coming in behind the head. Let's draw the side of the knot, going around and up towards the top, and round up the top. And then from here, we'll draw the bottom of the bow. Starting from the bottom of the knot, bend this down and then out toward the side. Go up to the top, curve this up and out. Let's close off the sides with a curve. And then from the side of the knot, add a fold, going up and out. Now let's repeat that over on the right side. Start with the bottom, and then the top, and then we'll close off the side. Now we want to add that braid texture along the inside. Start from the top, come down and in, both sides. Step down and do that again. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just pulling it in, and then just working our way down towards the bottom.
Let's draw the end of the hair, starting from the top left side of the knot, and it's up and out. And it's gonna work our way over towards the right. So pulling this down and in, step up, add another fold, coming around. Let's go to the inside, curve in the opposite direction. Pull that down. And we'll just add one more point in the middle. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Cindy Lou Who. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.